We are on lesson 22.5, solving nonlinear systems on page 9. Okay, so um, we're just checking to see whether or not, in this specific case, whether or not um, the given numbers are a solution for a system of equations. So uh, go ahead and read that explore section on your own. All we're doing is really plugging in numbers and just checking to see if they're true. So we're going to plug in the set of values into both equations. And if we come out with true statements for both equations, then we know that it is a solution to this system of equations. So um, let's go ahead and jump into that. So we're gonna let's work with this first equation. All right. So y equals x minus three squared plus one. And so all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. Remember, this is the x value. This is the y value. So the x value I'm gonna plug in here. And then the y value I'm going to plug in here and see if it comes out as a true statement. So um, instead of y, I'm going to put 1 since it is 1 right here. And instead of x, I'm going to put 3 minus 3 squared plus 1. Uh, and let's work with whatever's in the, um, in, the, uh, in the parentheses here. So this is 1. This is going to be 0 to the power of 2 plus 1. So 0 to the power of 2 is just 0. So 1 equals 1. That is a true statement, right? So uh, the first one is true. Let's take a look at the second equation. y equals negative x plus 4. So according to what we have right here, again, y is 1. And x is 3. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. 1 equals negative 3 plus 4 is 1. So this, so we do come out with another true statement. So we say that yes, um, 3 comma 1 is a solution for the system of equations. Okay, so let's do the same for the rest of these problems here. So let's take a look at this first one y equals x squared minus 6x plus 10. And again, we're plugging in values, the, the 4 in, in place of the x's and then 2 in place of the y. So 2 equals 4 squared minus 6 times 4 plus 10. And again, we got the values from up here. Um, 2 equals 4 squared is 16 minus 6 times 4 is 24 plus 10. Uh, let's see. So if we add 16 and 10, that's 26. 26 minus 24 is 2. So we do come out with a true statement. 2 does equal 2. Okay, so the first one's true. Let's try the second one. y equals negative x plus 4. And instead of y, we're going to put 2. And instead of x, we're going to put 4 plus 4. And in this case, negative 4 plus 4, that equals 0. 2 equals zero. That, that is not a true statement. Therefore, we say no 4 comma 2 uh, is not a solution. Okay. Question number 3. So y equals x squared minus 6x plus 14. So we're going to plug in 6 here because we get it from there. Equals 2 squared minus 6 times 2 since x is 2 plus 14. And then simplifying everything, 6 equals 2 squared is 4 minus 6 times 12 is 12 plus 14. And then 4 plus 14 gives us 18. 18 minus 12 is going to give us 6. So 6 does equal 6. So that is a true statement. Let's take a look at the second equation here. y equals 2x plus 2. Instead of the y, we're going to put 6 again. And instead of the x, we're going to put 2. It's 2. It's 6 equals 2 times 2 is 4 plus 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. So this is a true statement. Therefore, uh, we can say 2 comma 6 is a solution. All right, last question on this page. Y equals x minus 3 squared plus 5. So instead of the y, we're going to put 5. Instead of the x, we're going to put 3 minus 3 squared plus 5. So 5, 3 minus 3 is 0 squared. So it's a lot like the first question. 
right? So this is going to go away. So we get 5 equals 5. So this is a true statement. Let's check out the second equation, 2x plus 2. So instead of the y, I'm going to put 5. And instead of the x, I'm going to put 3. 5 equals 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2. 5 is not equal to 8. So we come out with a <coughs> not a incorrect statement. So we're going to say uh, 3 comma 5 is not a solution. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Uh, the other way to do it is to check it out graphically. And by graphically, we're going to use a table to uh, table values to draw what the graph actually looks like and see what the solutions are. When we say solutions, we're talking about where the two uh, graphs intersect, right? So um, let's go ahead and make a table. I'm going to make a ta I'm going to make another xy table here. Um, and instead of xy, I shouldn't put xy actually. Let's put the function here, right? Or x is fine, but the function is going to be um, it's going to be um, x plus two squared plus one, right? For one of the lines and for the other line, whatever the x value is, the y value is going to be um, x plus three, right? That's the function. So let, let's go ahead and try that. So <clears throat> what values am I going to use? Let's, ooh, I'm gonna, let's try starting from negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. Let's, let's use those values, see what we get. So, um, kind of mental math here. You can follow along by punching into calculator if you like, but we're going to plug in negative 4 for x here. So, um, negative 4 plus 2... Um, is going to be negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So there's my value at negative 4. So then we're going to plug in negative 3 here. And then so negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay. <coughs> if we plug in 2, or negative 2 that is, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 0 squared is 0. And this is going to be 1. And then if we plug in negative 1, negative 1. 1 plus 2 is uh, positive. 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 2 is 2. And then because the parabola is symmetrical, I, this, is, this is just going to be 5. All right, and you can do the mental math for that as well. So there are my points. We're, we have uh, negative 4 comma 5, which is right about here. We have negative 3 comma 2, which is right about here. Negative 2 comma 1. Um, negative 1 comma 2. 0 comma 5 so our graph is going to look something like this not perfect but something like this All right so that was for this first equation let's do it for the second equation now so um <clears throat> let's pick the same values negative 4 negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 and 0 so if we plug in negative 4 negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1 Negative, if we plug in negative 3, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. If we plug in negative 2, we get um, 1. If we plug in negative 1, we get 2. 0, we get 3. So let's, let's, let's do this. Uh, negative 4, we get negative 1. At negative 3, we get 0. At negative 2, we get 1, 2, 0, 3. So... We get a line kind of something like that. Not perfect, but um, something basically like that, right? And um, again, these drawings are not are not perfect. But one thing that that you should be able to identify is that we have two solutions here: one right there and one right there. Right, the one right there is going to be at what negative two comma one. A little hard to see, but so let me move that over. Negative two comma one, and then the other one is going to be here at negative one comma two. So those are our two solutions uh, where the graphs intersect. So um, negative two comma one and negative one comma two are our two solutions. Okay. So um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and continue on. Um, so let's do this. Let's, 
uh, x and the first equation is what um, x minus 4 squared so that's my function there uh, the values I'm going to use are going to be um, hmm, let's use 2 3 4 5 and 6 let's use those values the other one is going to be what x and um, x minus 4 so 2 3 4 5 6 okay so let's plug in um, 2 as 2 first um, 2 minus 4 is negative 2 negative 2 squared is 4 uh, plugging in 3 3 minus 4 is negative 1 negative 1 squared is 1 plugging in 4 we get 0 0 squared is 0 plugging in 5 we get 4 5 minus 4, 4 is 1 1 squared is 1 and this is going to be 4 probably because uh, it's symmetrical and then uh, let's try the other the second equation here um, plugging in 2 2 minus 4 is negative 2 plugging in 3 3 minus ne negative 4, 3 minus 4 is negative 1 this is going to be 0 this is going to be 5 minus 4 is 1 uh, 6 minus 4 is 2 okay so let's let's graph this first equation which is right here so 2 comma 4 is right here 3 comma 1 is right here 4 comma 0, 5 comma 1, 6 comma 4. So here's your equation here, or the graph, basically, something like that. And again, not perfect because of my unsteady hand, but that's what we got. So uh, and then let's graph the second one. Negative 2 comma, or 2 comma negative 2 is right here. 3 comma negative 1 is right here. 4 comma 0, 5 comma 1, 6 comma 2. So there's our line. So something like that. Again, not perfect, but uh, we should be able to identify two intersection points. One right there at four comma zero, and another one right there at five comma one. And we can see it in the graph too, or the tables too, right? We have two points right there that show up twice. So. Um, your solutions are 4 comma 0 and 5 comma 1. All right. So that was page 12. Um, couple, one more problem on page 13 here. And we're doing more of the same, making tables. Um, so let's go ahead and make another table for the first one. Uh, the function is x plus 1 squared minus 5. <coughs> so let's see. Hmm, the value I want is going to be negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, um, and 1. How about that? We'll go with that. So plugging in a negative 3. So negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Okay. Plugging in negative 2. Negative 2 right here. Um, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. And then at negative 1... Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 0 squared is 0. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. And then 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. And this is just going to be negative 1 since it's symmetrical. Then the other graph is going to be x and 2x. I'll pick the same values. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. So plugging in negative 3. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, so let's graph the first equation. Negative 3 comma negative 1 is right here. Negative 2 comma negative 4 is right here. Negative 1 comma negative 5, 0 comma 4, 1 comma negative 1. So there's our graph. Um, so something like this. Okay, so, again, yeah, not perfect because of my unsteady hand, but let's go with it. Negative 3 comma negative 6 is going to be right here. Negative 2 comma negative 4 is right here. Negative 1 comma negative 2 is right here. 0, 0. 1 comma 2. So on and so forth. Okay, so, in this case, ooh, this one's a bit tricky, right? Because... Because my my graph, right, that the points that I have identified don't really go that far, right? I'm assuming that it's going to intersect where over here at, 
x equals 2 for the second one. So let's try plugging in 2. Now if we do that, this is going to be 4, 2 comma 4. Um, let's try this one for 2 as well. Um, two, if we plug in 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 squared is 9, 9 minus 5 is 4. Yeah, so we get a another another one right there. So if this graph were more accurate, both are going to intersect right there at 2 comma 4 and also right here at negative 2 comma negative 4, right? So those are our intersection points and we could see it in the table as well because we have a common point here and we have a common point right here, right? So negative 2 comma negative 4 is one solution and then um, 2 comma 4 is the other solution.